hello everyone welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will discuss an important use case in power portals or power pages in power pages we have a concept called as multi-step forms right where you will find a user like structure if you i have already created a multi-step over here and in the multi-step my requirement is in capture student the capture student is one step and next step is enroll so in the capture student i am creating a student record and in next step in enroll i am enrolling a course for that same student so what happens my requirement is in enrollment form i don't want this student to be displayed because in model driven app what whatever i have created user can manually select a uh, student here right so that the enrollment record will be created for that student but whenever you are working in a multi-step form we are already capturing the student information in first step previous step so why user will need to again choose a student so there might be a chance that user can select wrong student information here so my intention is my business use case is the same student which is just created in the database should be used uh, for creating an enrollment so it will not ask me to choose a student again automatically it should associate the previous step entity record uh, in my current step so this is how you can uh, call it as, as passing uh, uh, one step information to another step in multi-step wizard okay so let us see how we can do that so first you have to uh, go to the multi-step form and in the multi-step form uh, in the portal management app you have to go to associated table reference in the associated table reference you have to set table reference on save as yes by default it is no okay uh, it's because we want to uh, go to uh, we want to you know uh, we want to re reset the table reference while saving the uh, enrollment i have clicked as yes then i have selected as the parent entity is the student which is the student entity then once you select the table name you have to choose the relationship how your current entity is related to the previous step entity so it will automatically display but once you select this the target lookup attribute logical name drop down remains not available so how it will be available so once you select this two you save it and refresh the browser once you refresh the browser this drop down will contain the lookup value lookup field that is present in your um, second step entity form right so because this is my student lookup which needs to be auto filled then click on populate lookup field once you do this configuration next you have to configure source type so the lookup field that will auto populate or auto uh, auto populate on save will come from which information which source from the previous step because in the previous step of the multi-step form we have captured the student information so that previous step information will be passed to my current step then reference entity step which entity step will refer for capturing the lookup information from the capture student step this is the first step in the multi-step form now once you have done and save it uh, you can automatically uh, if the student will automatically capture here so what i will do i will not allow this student to be on the form so i will create a new form for enrollment as i created a new form and i will just delete this uh, student and save it because i don't want to keep the student look up in the second step because user may do a mistake but it will automatically save in the uh, database by taking reference of previous form i'll go to the multi-step form and associate the new form we have created i will go to the enroll form and go to the form definition and this time instead of information which is previously associated i will use the new form i have created and save it now go to power pages and synchronize and see how it works just click on preview 
which will open the you know uh, multi-step form page where i can create a student right so let me so every time it should start with actually capture student right so to do that you have to go to the multi-step form and you have to click on the multi-step form edit the step settings not step setting in the multi-step uh, setting you have to uh, click on this so this is the multi-step form so you can edit the form and the setup you will find no not this one let me sign out and sign let me sign out and sign in again let me just uh, give some information here and save it just i'm uh, actually this is a previous step i have followed but just i'm submitting and create a fresh record so i'll go to the uh, second page again to capture a new student now i'm capturing a student this is the first step of my multi-step uh, i'm providing a uh, information then let's say let's say trishna or something let's say gary padford this is my uh, username let's say the student name and i want to define some information like just do, dummy message dummy information i'm providing here let's say address let's say london and now i will save it now as soon as i save this in the first step in the multi-step the same student information must be passed to my enroll step the student is hidden but that student which is captured should be used in the enrollment so i can define here uh, a name uh, course course for gary and here i can choose a course let's say he want to join for technical course and student uh, start date i can define start date and end it and submit so i have at this in this step i have not select any i have not selected any student but uh, i have configured that in the first step uh, in the previous step whatever student saved that student should be used for the enrollment now i can check the database i'll go to the student to see if the student is created or not now the student is created this is a student just created from power portal and if you go to related enrollments you will see the enrollment is created where the student is already captured right this is because of the configuration we have done and this is how you can pass one form information to another form uh, using associated lookup fields which are related to each other so thank you everyone for watching this video i hope this is a business use case which is more frequently used in projects so you can practice thanks guys bye